It occurred to me then that death only occurs so frequently in puppet shows to permit the showman to withdraw his left hand and introduce a new character. My grandfather had a small amusement arcade on the seafront. No, I'm being imprecise. It wasn't on the seafront. It was just far enough away from the seafront to be a complete commercial failure. My grandfather had bought it cheaply and turned it into an inferior copy of the local pier. It was a half-empty maze of old slot machines, of shops and booths. There was a mermaid. If I close my eyes and remember, I can still hear the mermaid singing. She only had one song. People would stare at her. I wonder if one day that she'll say that she care, Maddie. You can't stop things from changing. That's my grandfather talking in my head, his voice cigarette rushing the street smart with the pride of a man who has dragged himself up from street level and now drives a Daimler. what they say. And even though you tell yourself that Fine. they're lying, just or they're just teasing, teasing, still you wonder. Maybe he is telling the truth. I had an aunt who told me that she had a tail beneath her dress. I sneered at her so that she knew that I knew that she was lying, but secretly I wondered. Adults lie. Not always. When I was four, I believed everything, accepted everything, and was scared of nothing. Wee! Now that I'm eight, I believe in what I can see, and I'm scared of anything I can't. There was a storm that night. 
Lightning made the night sky flicker and flare. I watched the storm from my darkened bedroom in my grandparents' house, staring as the landscape outside the window appeared and vanished into blackness, fractional and colorless like the past. I rejoiced in the dark, rolling booms of the thunder and counted the interval between the blaze and the boom and listened to the beat of the rain on the window and was glad that I was safe and warm. Eventually I slept and I dreamed a dream. I was back in the arcade and it was after dark. There were shadows everywhere. At first I wasn't scared. I was following a path lit by small candles through the darkness. There was no one there but me. Then the rustlings began. I heard the swish of their tails in the darkness as they heard me coming, and in the shadows they were smiling. I knew what they were, crocodiles and alligators and older, huger reptiles, all with teeth and eye and scales and claws, following me through the labyrinth of night. One by one the candles flickered and went out. I began to run. There was a light ahead of me, came from the Punch and Judy Theater. On the stage, the doctor was cutting open Pretty Polly, Punch's forgotten girlfriend. Punch stood beside him, looking sad. The cloth of the Polly puppet parted and a huge hand came out. The doctor raised his knife and began to cut into the hand and fingers. Punch laughed. And I wondered who the third hand belonged to. I turned to run, but there was nothing anywhere but the darkness. No shelter, no safety. I had lost my way, and I was alone in the night, and already the crocodiles were beginning to roar.